AI, 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 generative AI, generative AI, generative AI, 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 it uses AI to bring AI, 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 AI. Nowadays, everyone is trying to figure out how can I integrate GPT in my own business or personal use. And there are powerful libraries like Langchain that enable you to build AI apps easily. But I just found a way to significantly increase the speed of building AI apps. And you can build AI features for your own e-commerce site or business in literally five minutes. I want to introduce to Lanflow. Lanflow is an open source library that allow you to build an AI apps with drag and drop interface and also preview in a chat experience instantly. This is very good because now if you have an AI feature idea, you can quickly drag and drop and test it in a few minutes without any environment setup. And I'm going to show you how to use Lanflow step by step. There are multiple ways you can start using Lanflow. On one hand, there's a hosted version on Hugging Face where you can start using Lanflow right away. But I wouldn't recommend use it for production. You do need to store the API key. But on the other hand, you can also run Lanflow locally on your own machine. And the setup is pretty straightforward. You can just open your terminal, put in PIP install Lanflow and click enter. Once you did it, it's just start install Lanflow on your own machine. I already did it, so I'm going to skip this part. And once you finish that, you can just put in Python M Lanflow. And this will start running the Lanflow on your local machine. You can copy this link and open in your browser. And now you can see we are in this Lanflow building experience. Let's say we want to build an AI chatbot where you can feed all your company's information from website, PDFs, and different documents into it. And it will provide relevant information to the questions people have. To do that in Landflow is pretty straightforward. I prepared an example here already. For the most basic version, we want to feed the TXT file to the to GPT as a context. Firstly, we will use text loader, which is one type of doc loader that Lanchin provides, can extract all the information from a document and convert it into text. Then we will use a text splitter to break down the large chunk of text into small parts. And in the end, we will use a vector data storage in Lanflow, this part Chroma now, and we will connect the output from the text splitter into the documents and also use OpenAI embedding for similarity search. And then we will feed the Chroma database into a vector store info so that Lanchin will be able to use this vector store. And in the end, for this purpose, we will use a vector store agent, which is one type of agent that can use vector store as a context to answer questions. We use OpenAI as a large language model. Once we build this up, just paste in the OpenAI API key for both embeddings and the large language model. You actually don't need to worry too much about the other information here. And that's it. Once you wait all the little check mark of each block, turn green, then you know it is ready to run. You can just click on this button on the right bottom corner to start using the agent you just created. You can also look at the terminal to understand the process. So currently you can see it is trying to generate sorts and once it's finished, it will return the information that is exclusive from the document I uploaded. And as a normal business, you probably have more than just one TXT file. You might want to feed in information from your website, from a PDF file. And to do that, just adding a bit of building blocks. On the left side is where you can drag and drop more stuff into the workflow. The one we will need is a loader. As I mentioned before, document loader is a way for you to upload information to the larger language model. For example, if you have a website, you can add this web-based loader, which will scrap the data from a certain website. And then we will need to do the same thing use a text splitter to break down the chunk of text and we will need to add a vector data storage for Chroma. For embedding, we will just reuse the same OpenAI embedding in the toolkit, add a vector store info, connect all those building blocks together. For vector store info, we'll give a name. You can see the little icon here turn green, which means we have it has loaded data properly. One thing we do need to change is that since we have two vector store, we won't be using vector store agent. We will be using vector store router agent, which is a type of agent that can take multiple vector storage. And we also need to add this vector store router tools to feed in these two vector stores. So you can see we feed both TXT file as well as the website information to this vector store router. And then we will feed this to the vector store router agent. 
That's how you feed in multiple different information and data source to the large language model. As you can see, there are a lot of stuff you can do with this platform already. There are all the different types of doc loaders. You can insert information from Evernote, Facebook, Gitbook. And the best part is because everything is built on top of LangChain, if you have something that you're not sure what it is, for example, Edge and Loader, I can just literally go to LangChain and then search for Edge and Loader to get more context and documentation to understand what it is. So it is referring to Hacker News. And on the other side, you can click on this import button on the top left corner and see all the different type of examples to, to learn how does this tool work. And once everything is tested and ready to be used, you can click on this code button on the top right corner to export and use it in your own Python apps. So this is Landflow. You can probably see how you can use this tool to quickly build some proof of concept of AI features. But they are not the only tool out there. There are also other platforms like Flowwise. It provides those similar type of drag and drop experience. And they also have GitHub. You can try to install it through NPM with this two command. And then you can run locally on your machine as well. But what's cool about Flowwise is they do have a few interesting predefined agent. For example, you can create a complicated use case like auto agent with some predefined template. Just connect different tools together like read file, write file, get information from server, adding the model, as well as a vector store for the memory. I do think Flowwise has better user experience. For example, they all have a lot of stuff, but in Flowwise, I can just quickly search for certain blocks I want and drag them in. However, the problem with Flowwise is currently there's no way for you to deploy it easily. So you can only run this on your local machine, which is not that great. But I'm pretty sure they will fix this very soon. And last but not least, apart from Landflow and Flowwise, there are also projects that focus on optimizing specific type of building experience. For example, there's one I think is worth looking at called Super Agent. I believe Underhook is also from Landchain, but they provide this kind of user interface for people to create an agent. Uh, turn on memory and all the other things out of box, as well as adding different type of prompts and documents. So it is extremely fast for certain type of simple use case. It's very exciting to see that there are more and more projects lower the barriers for people to build AI apps. Not only launching, there are also other ecosystem like Realms AI or Dust.tt that I mentioned in my previous videos that you can check out. All those efforts together, I'm very excited to see what kind of use case that people start creating. Comment below about the AI features and ideas you are trying to build. Thank you, and I see you next time.